7 has a team of experts looking at abortion and marijuana. Now joining us now is Dr. Eric Brooks, provost and vice president for academic affairs at Central State University. Dr. Natalie Hudson, executive director of the Human Rights Center for the University of Dayton. And Dr. Mark Caleb Smith, director of the Center for Political Studies from Cedarville University. Thank all of you for staying up late with us. I, I guess the first question we have, voters very passionate about issue one and issue two. What surprised you the most, Eric, about today's results? Um, it surprised me that that, um, that there were one of the issues were a little close. Mm -hmm. um, I I did expect both of them to overwhelmingly pass, sure. but it was a little tighter on the um, legal marijuana uh, issue than I thought it would be. Natalie? Well, you know, I wasn't surprised by the generational um, leaning towards support for both issue one and issue two, but one of the things I saw around um, the um, uh, elections was that more blacks and Latinos actually uh, voted for issue one. Uh, eight of ten and seven, eight of ten blacks and seven out of ten Latinos, which was more than uh, white population. Sure. Yeah. Mark? Uh, I think it reveals a split and fractured Republican Party. Uh, and I think for people who are looking at Ohio as sort of a typical red state, very conservative on the whole, to see Ohio's population vote to support abortion like this, with a fair number of Republicans joining in, according to the exit polls, uh, it's going to sh send shockwaves across the country. Well, let's talk a little bit about the turnout. We've been seeing the long lines. We were talking about it earlier. And, uh, you know, the number of people that showed up for this election exceeded August's special election. So looking forward, what does this mean for next year's presidential election, uh, our statewide races? Uh, Mark, let's start with you this time. Uh, I think you're going to see significant political interest across the board. Uh, these are hot-button cultural issues that were uh, dealt with today. That's going to spill into the presidential election next year. We seem to be riding a high wave of political participation right now, and I don't see any reason why that's going to stop. Well, it's always good to see voters coming out to the polls, uh, especially young voters. We're talking about that. Natalie, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think we saw with this election the interest and the power of the young vote. They definitely felt like both issues were relevant, close to home. They both were citizen-sponsored initiatives in that way. And so I think we'll see that carry over uh, into next year. All right. Thank you, Eric. What about you? I agree. I think uh, young people are very passionate. Um, usually the 18 to 29 year olds uh, do not vote in high numbers, but if you have an uh, issue on the ballot that interests them, they will turn out to vote. Yeah. Natalie, final thoughts on, uh, on issue one and issue two today? Yeah, I mean, final thoughts. I think it's really interesting, the disconnect between sort of public uh, opinion and where the public lies in terms of its center position versus what we hear and see um, in, both in Columbus and D.C. It's highly polarized. Um, and so I think uh, that's a big takeaway for, um, for both uh, citizens and uh, election officials. Eric? I think there's a di uh, disconnect. Um, it seems like the citizens feel one way and the politicians are, uh, are voting another way. So there's a dis disconnect between the politicians and the citizens. The constituents. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I think the Republican Party's got a lot of soul-searching to do. Uh, you're going to see the presidential campaigns react to this, I think. You're going to see them start to shift their positions around on the issue of abortion. Uh, and I don't think the Republican Party can con continue forward as just a dominant pro-life party anymore. They're going to have to now look at uh, appealing to those more moderate voters on the issue of abortion. And that's going to be a sea change for the GOP. Very much so, as the GOP is, continues to try and find itself yep. here in 2023. Again, thank you very much, folks. Greatly appreciate your knowledge.